was that the quality of the end product is really important. And to assure quality, skills training is vital. So we propose that CTA should seek partnerships in order to be able to listen to training needs assessment. And CTA and partners could then finance accordingly. The second recommendation is that with regards to the use of language, uh, we propose that CTA could produce a glossary of agricultural terms for journalists and media practitioners in ACP countries. Now that goes beyond video, this is for media in general, I think. The third recommendation, CTA should serve as a clearinghouse for preferably short videos on agricultural and related rural issues at the professional level in ACP countries. So those were the, the three recommendations uh, for the first aspect. In terms of the enabling environment, I think we can move on to the recommendations, uh, Alan. Here we have three main recommendations. First, to assist government in developing policies that support visual communication on agriculture and rural development issues. Because it was felt that the visual communication, both at the donor level and at government level, is seriously underutilized, underrepresented. And so that is a strong recommendation. The second one is to mobilize and support existing networks regional organizations and farmer platforms to disseminate video programs that are developed by multiple agencies. And so coming back to the first group who said that CDA could play a role as a clearinghouse, so the sec this one is related to it, so that they can actually play this role to disseminate to various platforms and networks. The third is to organize regional and in-country workshops with multiple stakeholders and media practitioners to articulate demand for new agricultural video production. Our third uh, key theme was on content strategy and processes and the first recommendation within that group that CTA should make a priority of film and video in ARD because it is a powerful tool that crosses boundaries of distances, languages, seasons, and it also provides new and relevant opportunities for analysis, learning, and reflection with all stakeholders. 